couple of days ago, The Witcher Season 3 released their first teaser trailer, and the reception wasn't exactly stellar. Uh, at Aww. the time of us doing this stream, uh, it's sitting at 2.2 million views from two days ago. Um, it's had 51,000 upvotes and 196,000 downvotes. That is a brutal ratio. Uh, you're pretty much, what, four to one? Down? I was kind yeah. of interested in this. To what extent do the studios factor in or pay attention to the, those ratio dynamics? Do you think they completely blow it off and ignore it? Or do you think they, at some <laughs> level, they actually have to? They've got to be aware of it. I mean, surely it must be some kind of market indicator. It's got to be. Like, they couldn't just... They, they, surely, they, I mean, they could blow off the comments, like the, the people saying, like, you know, um, I was shaking when Henry Cavill picked up the lightsaber and said it's Morbin time, but you know, <laughs> the, the actual, like, mass of people downvoting it, that's got to mean something to them. I would hope. Otherwise, what's the well, point in releasing this stuff? If you look at the Witcher Season 2 trailer, the ratio on that is 8.6 million views, 329,000 upvotes, 5.3k downvotes. So that is 96 odd percent, whatever, let's just say 96 odd percent thumbs up. This is 20 percent thumbs up. There is a massive guess, difference between two. <clears throat> I, can't, I can't even believe season two got such a positive reception. Well, like this the is trailer, the trailer. I don't. <laughs> well, I know, but then I don't think people came out of season one thinking, "Damn, that mo that uh, show was awesome! I can't wait for season two. Like that was, that was already a show with problems. I think so. Then. But he, but a lot of people were just like, "Oh, it was, it was good decent season two. I was like, "Are you fucking nuts?" That was. I guess the shite. the. Uh... The inverse must be true as well. Like if you're Disney, the gigantic corporation, and you put out a, um, a Peter Pan trailer, and it's only getting, what, 50,000 or whatever likes, that's such a minuscule proportion of people who are actually thrilled enough to actually make that decision on YouTube to upvote it. So that must also be worrying when that kind of minuscule statistic on that side uh, emerges. So how I mean, much can they sacrifice in terms of reputation and critical acclaim for money? How long is that going to work out for them? <laughs> Where's the money? Well, as we were just talking about, there's... Uh... Oh, sorry, we're talking about Witcher. My bad. <laughs> yeah. I, guess, I guess you guys would know better than me. How, how does that do for money? Uh, how does that do for engagement overall? Because they got ah. to three seasons. That's something. Yeah, but was that contractually obligated? When yeah, yeah, yeah. Deal? Well, that's what I mean, is you guys would know, actually. See, I know that season two... Um, I mean, even Lauren Hestrich was... was not happy with the reaction of season two so well, it must it must have done a lot a lot worse than they they imagined imagine losing oh, she wasn't happy pass me the era. fucking violin maybe I you should know. have better, made a better show love <laughs> yeah, i know <laughs> yeah yeah but she tried uh, to engage in conversation with with people like quartering and whatnot and then the angry the angry mob on twitter was just like you can't speak to him and then she's like you're yeah. right then she disavowed and all that yeah. So let's just go through Indeed. the checklist. You've got uh, a group of writers who weren't into the material. Yep. You've got a lead actor who was disgruntled about the whole process. Uh, you've got the author of the books who the best he could say was, <laughs> oh, I've seen better, I've seen worse. So he's not into it. And then the audience isn't into it. So <laughs> nobody's into this show. So how do you nobody get to Yeah, point? nobody wants to... <laughs> nobody wants to make it. Nobody wants to watch it. And apparently nobody yeah. wants to be in it either. Like Henry Cavill's leaving. Mm. Um, this this can't be the the final season. If they if they make season four and it gets released, I'll be shocked because I think they're going to be uh, they're going to have appalling ratings for this one. I honestly, everyone knows. This... No, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, everyone knows Cavill's out. Uh, everyone knows that there's no real future for this one, and it's just it's dead in the water. It's a dead show walking. Yeah, at least Blood but Origin how... was good. <laughs> oh yeah, we got that, didn't we? That that's obviously damaged the brand as well. Like you released garbage I can hope like that. So. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, you shouldn't be allowed to get away with releasing something like that. Yeah, I mean, you could have sort of coasted by with the first two seasons, but when you've got that absolute dog shit, uh, it's just it's destroying it. 
So the beauty of Blood Origin, is, Blood Origin is them trying to make an original bit of content in the Witch universe, and it just shows how yeah. fucking shite they are. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, well, this is the show they season... wanted to make. This is what they always wanted to do, but they were they were hamstrung by like some kind of semblance of source material that they had to stick mm. to. They probably had Henry Cavill kicking up shit behind the scenes as well mm. about them deviating from it. And this was their chance to show us what they could do when they were unfettered mm-hmm. by creative yeah. restraints. And look what probably they produced. Maybe we could get rid of the source material if we can just yeah. find a way. Yeah. Well, and well, I, I love the story. story. Not just. Um, not just substituting Cavill, so you get a discount, and Liam Hemsworth, they get a discount Henry Cavill, discount. who's also a discount Hemsworth. <laughs> so that's beautiful. Yeah. 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 I was just going to bring that up. Like, he doesn't come in until season four, right? Because correct, Cavill yeah. shot season three, and I'm surprised they even went that far at this point. I figured they just end it, because traditionally, Netflix doesn't like to do more than three seasons. And the reason is because the way they see it is, if they're going to get an audience off a show, it's off that first and second season. If by that third season, they're not getting any new subscribers to Netflix, then it's a dead show to them. That's what took them so long to finally decide to uh, pick up Cobra Kai for season six. And I think that was just because Sony was threatening to do other things with it. If they didn't uh, at that point, because they're like, well, we're done. We don't need any more. Uh, well, the actors not, get more expensive, don't yeah. they, with each passing season? That too. And... Yeah, and see, that's another thing, too, is like it's like with networks, like the first three or four seasons are usually on the production company. Then if you decide you want to go further, then it's up to the network or Netflix or whoever to kick in more money after that, basically, yes. And, uh, yeah, like the, the revenue that you generate from the show isn't going to increase with each passing season, uh, unless it's something crazy like, you know, a Game of Thrones or whatever. Um but yeah, with with most of these things, and particularly in this case with The Witcher, I don't think they're getting many people signed up. Nobody's going to sign up to Netflix at this point to watch The Witcher, especially not with season three. Like this is this show has died a death. Uh, it tried yeah. to be the next Game of Thrones. It failed miserably because the the writers can't write a fucking episode of TV to save their lives. They hate the source material. They don't understand storytelling, and they just wanted their 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 like empowerment diversity higher casting uh above all else that was all they cared about and yeah they shot especially with blood origin with uh one of the interesting things about blood origin was supposed to be the vast you know differences between those three realms but they just peopled the three realms with people who look exactly like everyone else in every other realm uh so that was the problem with the diversity there well, we talked about this on Real BBC the other night, didn't we? When we were watching the trailer yeah. for it. And it was like this exact problem that Game of Thrones tackled it perfectly. You know, by saying, hey, this is a crazy idea, right? But people who live in the far north where they, they it's cold and dark most of the time are probably going to look a bit different from people who live in the, the far south where it's hot and sunny <sighs> all the time, you know? Uh, that's just kind of how human beings are. But no, like in places like The Witcher... Everyone is just like walking down the, the street of central London. Like there's a mix of every different yeah. ethnicity, uh, yeah. you know, every race and color and whatever all mixed together. And so every place just ends up look like, looking like every other place. There's nothing to differentiate anything. So you never get a strong sense of what the geography of this world is. You don't know where anything is in relation to each other, uh, partly because of that bad casting that they don't that they can't break away from and partly because the writing's terrible and they, they don't know how to world build to save their lives like i don't know about you even having played the games and knowing the general setup of this world um i felt more confused after watching the show like i feel like it, it took that knowledge and scrambled it I, I i can't imagine what it must be like for people who are coming into this blind just having no sense of what the the landscape of this world is in the slightest and it just gets worse as time passes i think i get this you have uh, the diversity in the in the immediate sense of of ethnic diversity but then you have like rings of power wheel of time willow um this show where it all just looks mono and interchangeable in in a larger wider sense all the landscapes look the same and all the characterization and backgrounds and extras all look the same so it just merges into one bland mass yeah, the yeah. And I don't know if part of it was right. just a big you know, square. That's it. That's the one. Yeah, like even yeah, again, even with Game of Thrones, 
um the the lighting was different in different places you know if you were mm -hmm. in Dorne, it was very golden it was you could tell that it was warm and stuff like and you're up in winterfell everything's gray and washed out and it's like okay i get the sense of where we are i i know the climate's different i know the look the landscape is different uh they, they spent money to shoot on location in different places kind of feels like they cheaped out on the witcher and everything's just shot in like fucking ireland or wherever they did it uh and everything just looks the same mm. um yeah just you get no you get no yeah. sense of, i mean geography is very important when you're when you're talking fantasy you you need to see particularly when a lot of these characters are traveling because you need to see a world traveled and when the world you're traveling looks identical everywhere the people look identical everywhere then it feels like you're going nowhere you're physically yeah, going that's nowhere right. that's a good point point. And, yeah. and so that makes it very dull very boring when you go to a different location different filter different lighting a different people it feels like a journey has happened a journey has commenced i think i yeah. know what they're going to do with the story i think they know what they're, they're going to do the riots at the end of season three they're going to do the riots and Geralt's going to get killed and yennefer's going to get killed and then siri's going to take them away and bring them back and then season four when Geralt comes back he's going to be discount hemsworth oh, so that's how shit. they're going to do that because the whole thing is so amateurish. It, it just looks like a CW show. And mm. yeah, I just, I always remember that really petulant rant that you got from Yasky in season two. Where oh. he, he meets this like guard who's like, oh yeah, I've heard some of your songs. Didn't like the one that skipped around uh, to different time periods and stuff. Uh, it was really confusing. And then he does, does this really like childish rant about how the guy's so stupid and he doesn't understand his artistic genius and it's clearly yeah. just the writers absolutely vent in their rage at the yep. audience like how dare you morons not understand our genius at work here and it's like no you're idiots you tried to do something really clever but you couldn't do any world building and so you couldn't establish any time periods that people could identify so you just ended up with a confusing mess of a story because you guys are useless, incompetent hacks. Yeah. Don't yeah. blame it on us. You can't tell a story to save your lives. 